Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sprinkler channel. Today, we're gonna be talking about an issue that you might come across if you have a sloped lawn. And specifically, we're gonna talk about how you can fix it if you have these four inch pop-up uh, heads and uh, with the Hunter um, four inch pro sprays. So let's get started, let's get into it. So if you have a sloped lawn, you probably have sprinkler heads that are at the bottom of the slope and depending on how much slope it is, um, you might find after the sprinkler zone is turned off that you'll still see lots of water coming out of the nozzle because all the pipes are still full of that water. And so then just naturally it follows the gravity and pulls it down to the lowest head, which could be one of these pop-up heads. And then you just have a really soggy area around that head because all the extra water that's in the pipes is going to that specific head and draining out of them. So the question is, how do you fix that uh, from allowing that water to, to get out of that sprinkler head? And on some of the rotor heads, for instance, they, they have what they call the check valves. So it will keep the water from pushing out of those heads when they're not turned on to a certain amount of degree. You know, if they're only about, you know, I can't remember exactly, but uh, X number of feet below the grade then it'll keep it. If it's more than that, then it's going to be too much pressure and it's still going to let it out. But for these four inch pop-ups and specifically the Hunter Pro Sprays, um, you can buy this check valve, which you can easily install. And I'm going to show you here in a second. And this allows it to when the water shuts off and that sprinkler uh, nozzle goes back down into the body, that it keeps it the rest of the water in the pipe and doesn't allow it to drain out like it would otherwise perhaps on that slope. So let's go ahead and take this apart and show you how you would do it. So just unscrew the, the neck of the uh, pop-up head. And if this happens to come off by itself, that's okay. Um, you know, you can just go ahead and grab this other part and pull it out like that. So, and we'll just keep it together for now. So. On the bottom, there's your nozzle. On the very bottom, you'll see where the water goes into. That is where we're gonna install this check valve. So you just place this check valve with the white side. You have the black rubber piece on this side, and then you have the white uh, part where the water uh, could get through. But so then you install it just like that with the black rubber piece facing down. So here's the sprinkler head, just like that. And then you install it just like that, right? So it goes in there, make sure it's seated correctly. It'll click in there, just like you heard. So we'll do it one more time. There we go. So that's how it's gonna be. That's how it's gonna look. That's the top of the sprinkler head. When it pops up like that, it's gonna be down there. And it's gonna the water is gonna be able to go around that rubber gasket and still let the water out. But as soon as it goes down, let's see what happens. Okay, let's get it installed, and then we'll put it back into the sprinkler head. Screw it back on nice and tight. Okay, and then check it out. So now you probably can't see it, but now when the sprinkler head is down it seals off this inlet so any water trying to escape it's sealed off and it can't get up to the top it can't flow through and seep out the top so that's the check valve that's what's keeping it in check so to speak and and keeping it from not being able to flow out of the sprinkler head unless the valves are open the water pressure is higher and then it will press the head up just like that and then the water will be able to escape. But as long as the sprinkler head's off, then it's sealed off and it will help from water leaking out of your sprinkler head when it's not turned on. So that is the check valve for this Hunter Pro Spray 4 inch pop-up. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below or like it if this helped and we'll see you in the next 